This is an example of English education in Japan. As you know, this is KGU logo. Uh, KGU have a special English program like EC presentation, EC reading, and EC writing. English education is a is a is a program which is held only by only in English language. talk about three different main topics. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about the advantage of English education. And next, Miho is going to talk about disadvantages of English education in Japan. And lastly, we are going to talk about future measures of English education. Uh, that's how Japan can help improve the current situation. So, advantage of English education. As you can see, the graph here shows that the numbers of English institutes are increasing year by year. And in 2007, there are almost more than 4,000 English institutions in Japan. And the graph here shows that Japan is bolstering its English education so that they can grow international and globalize students for their future career. Such example is that there are a lot of different opportunities to learn English in Japan. For example, they can learn English outside from school, such as private schools. There are GEOS, uh, EON, and other different private schools in Japan that provide English courses or programs. Also, uh, students can use speed learning as kind of a radio radio and you can just person can just listen to the English conversation and they can just learn from them. And this is also the another example of how people can learn English and study English outside from school. And the graph here shows that the rate of English education is increasing year by year. And in 2006 there's almost 94% of English education are held in Japan. This graph includes cram schools, private schools, and other English speaking materials. Now, we are going to talk about the disadvantage of English education in Japan. You know? Thank you, Now, I'm going to talk about the disadvantage of English education in Japan. Um, uh, first, I'm going to talk about no connection. Uh, in Japan, there are no connection between elementary school English education and junior high school's English education. Look at this graph. This graph shows uh, elementary school's teachers and junior high school's English teachers' relationship. About 30% of elementary school teachers have meetings with junior high school teachers, but only nine, only 9.4 percent elementary school have a curriculum which linked to a junior high school's English education. This means uh, students start start studying English at elementary school, and the students learn some English words expressions, uh, phrases, and so on. And then they enter junior high school. But the junior high school teachers don't know uh, how, don't 
don't know the student's English ability. So the teachers have to teach from the beginning and the students have to study the same part again. This causes waste of time. Secondly, I'm going to talk about not proper to, uh, com to communicate in real, in real life. Uh, Japanese school focuses on reading and writing skills. In Japan, uh, learning English became popular after World War II. So, uh, but the teachers, the teachers were trained under the methods that emphasize reading skill. So, uh, there are not some, there are not, there are not enough teachers to to teach uh, speaking skills to students. And also. Uh, in Japan, there are not so much uh, ALT, I mean non-Japanese teachers. Look at this graph. This graph shows uh, who mainly teach English at elementary school. About 66% schools, uh, homeroom teachers, uh, I mean Japanese teachers, teach English to the students. The school which non-Japanese teachers teach English is only 25%. And also, school focuses on study for entrance exam. In Japan, uh, entrance, exam, entrance exams test the student's writing and reading ability. It doesn't test their speaking ability. So the teachers uh, focuses on the reading and writing skill to make the students pass the exam. And the students cannot learn how to communicate with non-Japanese non people in English. And so uh, Japanese English education is not proper to communicate in real life. Now Hideaki will talk about the conclusion. Thank you. So there are lots of disadvantages of English education in Japan, and Japan should really uh, implement measures to solve the current issue. So future measures. These are just a few examples of how Japan can help improve the situation, such as improve oral communication by focusing on pronunciation. The reason is because people don't understand Japanese English because of their pronunciation, because of Japanese accent. So in order to in order to aim for better communication, Japan should really encourage to teach better pronunciation. And lastly, combination of speaking and communication. This will help students to have more better communication skills in English. And Japanese schools can also achieve this goal by making a group in schools, asking people to speak in English, in English classes, and so on. And Japan should really encourage to implement these measures in order to solve the, uh, solve the problem that they are facing right now. Thank you for listening. Please look at this graph. This graph shows the instructors of English classes. Homeland teacher is about 66% and ALT is about 25%. Look at this graph. 
This graph shows the instructors of English classes at elementary school. In 66% schools, homeroom teachers teach English to students. The school, which AAP, I mean non-Japanese teachers, teach English is only 25%. This means the students cannot have the opportunity to communicate with non-Japanese teachers in English. 